Well, let's delve a little bit deeper into your book, Angel Investing. What would you say is sort of the central theme or thesis of the book? Who did you write it for? And what's the one big idea that you really want the readers to take away? The book Angel Investing, The Gus Guide to Making Money and Having Fun Investing in Startups was written for the potential angel investor, somebody who was interested in investing money into startups. Now, typically, this is a person of some means. Um, I call angel investors typically rich-ish people. I mean, if you're really <laughs> a super rich person, if you're a billionaire, you just don't have the time, frankly, to invest $10,000, $20,000 into a startup company. You have people to manage your money for you. You're concerned with the great affairs of state. You don't get down and, and, and putting a little bit of money into little companies. So angel investors tend to be people who have investable capital and typically in the United States you need to be what's called an accredited investor with assets of over a million dollars not including the value of your house or income of over two hundred thousand dollars a year. That's the baseline level over that okay. it's fair game. Um, in reality most angels tend to have a little bit more than that so they, they are, they're investing some tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars into over time into startup companies. Uh, and so the, the book was written as the instruction book for somebody like that who's says, okay, I've heard about this angel investing stuff. I see Uber and Google and Twitter and stuff out there um, growing very rapidly, making a lot of money. How can I get involved here? Um, and so until now, there has been no instruction book at all. There were, there, were no, there were virtually no classes. There were no instruction books. How the heck would you know what to do? Well, you could join an angel group, which is a great way to, to, to do it. But other than that, it was by trial and error. And so invariably, angels make all these mistakes, and, they, and they, they'll invest the first deal they see, and they'll write big checks, and they won't think about deal structure and all this kind of stuff. So this book was designed as the step-by-step -step guide to saying, okay, you want to do it? Here's how you do it right. That's who it was designed for. As to the central thesis of the book, there are actually two different approaches to angel investing, two large sort of meta approaches. One of them is what I call the, the Silicon Valley approach. Uh, and this typically is by um, the people you have heard of as angel investors or super angels and the, in all these high-flying companies uh, in, uh, in California. And they are what's called unicorn hunters. They are on the hunt for a, a unicorn is a, a billion dollar company. Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and Zynga and Uber and these are all unicorns. Um, and they, they're called unicorns because they are very, very, very rare. And so the unicorn approach to angel investing says, I just have to be in that deal. And if I'm in that deal, in that one unicorn deal, doesn't matter, nothing matters. Terms don't matter, valuation doesn't matter, anything matters. I mean, take for example Uber, the, the taxi cab sharing company. Mm -hmm. If you had invested as an angel investor in Uber at a, at a $1 million valuation originally, you would have done fine. At a $10 million valuation, you would have done fine. At a $100 million valuation, you would have done fine. At a $1 billion valuation, you would have done fine. At a $10 billion <laughs> valuation, you would still today have made five times your money. Right? So, yeah. so, th so therefore, if you happen to hit Uber, all well, bets are off. You, can, yeah. you, know, you just throw money in there and say, hey, take this money and give me something at the end, and you'll do just fine. However, in the real world, most people do not have access to Uber. Most, you know, most people who are looking to be angel investors, even if you're in California, um, and uh, certainly if you're not tied into that, that kind of community, are unlikely to have that opportunity to hit a unicorn. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, the problem with unicorn hunting as an as a approach to angel investing is if you don't hit a unicorn, blah, you're dead. I mean, every, everything, you get zero. It's either 100% or zero. It's, it's like betting on you know, double zero in, in roulette. I mean, that, that's your, your, your one shot. The essence of the book is the other approach to angel investing, which I call the everybody else approach. Um, <laughs> and so this says it's not a unicorn hunt. You don't need to, as a matter of fact, I've invested in 110 companies and I have not hit one single unicorn.